Hey guys, AK James 762. This is Firearms 101. It's for all the beginners. This is how to properly safety check your firearm. Okay, maybe you want to get into guns. You want to go to a gun shop or a gun show. You want to pick one up, get hands on, handle it, look at it. I want to show you how to properly safety check these weapons. I've got a revolver, semi auto pistol, semi auto rifle, and a pump shotgun. I'm going to show you how to safety check these. Start with the revolver. Pick a revolver up, just like I said in my previous video when I went over the rules. Keep the barrel pointed at the ground. Keep your finger alongside the slide, either side, whatever. Some revolvers are different. Some open differently than others. This one, you push this button towards the cylinder. Push it towards the cylinder, use your opposite middle finger push the cylinder out it is empty and you can see down the barrel there's nothing obstructing the barrel that has been safety checked okay I'm going to the semi-auto pistol finger off the trigger muzzle pointed at the ground what you do with semi-auto pistols if you're familiar with pistols in general, you know that on the last round they lock open. So if this magazine's empty and you rack the slide back, it's going to lock open. But every time you pick up a weapon, firearm, gun, whatever you want to call it, you never know if it's loaded or not. So when it comes to semi-auto pistols, pop the magazine first. Magazine's empty. Then, see this? This is your slide release lever. You're going to grab the slide and pull it back see if I can get this on camera. You're going to pull it back and push up on the slide release just like this and it's going to catch in this notch. Now this is just a Glock. Some handguns are different. Some handguns operate differently. Some of the, of the controls look different but it's the same basic principle. Push the uh, slide release up. It catches in that notch. It's locked back. There's no magazine look down the chamber. Some people even like to take their pinky and put their pinky in the chamber to feel that there's nothing in there. This gun has been safety checked. Some people will keep the slide locked back just so they can just look at it and see it's locked back, it's empty. And then when, you're, when you have completed your safety check, you put your thumb on the slide release, grab the back of the slide, let it ride forward like that. If it's your gun, and you just want to push the release down and let it rip forward, go for it. But if you're just looking at a gun that someone is selling, don't be a dick and just slam the slide forward. Just have respect for other people's things. That's, you know, that's the way I conduct business anyway. Semi-auto rifle. This is an AK. Magazine's gone. You can see that. So you want to hold this. Muzzle's in a safe direction magazine is out this is not gonna lock back grab the charging handle pull back can't really see with the camera but this is the chamber down in here chamber is empty there there we go got it to lock back this firearm is safe same thing with AR-15s same basic principle, different controls, just like I talked about with the pistol. If you're safety check an AR-15, you take the magazine out, you pull the charging handle back, and if it's empty, you're safe. Pump shotgun. Same basic principle. You can't detach the magazine quickly and easily to check the safety, so what you do is you turn it upside down. See that follower, that black follower? It's a black follower, not a brass shell casing. Doesn't look like that. So, now depending on the shotgun, it's going to depend on where the slide release is. This one, however, is behind the trigger group. Hold the slide release in. Pump it back. That is empty. Chamber's empty. That's safe. very simple just like I said in my previous video if you're at a gun show or gun shop 
This will help you to not look like a complete beginner. When you pick up a firearm, keep your finger out of the trigger guard and keep that muzzle pointed at the ground and away from people. If there's someone at a gun show selling guns on their table or if you go to a gun shop and you're dealing with a salesperson, you pick that handgun up and you do this or you're pointing it at them or whatever, first thing they're going to think of Oh, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Or this girl, yeah, typical female, doesn't know how to handle a gun. Nobody ever wants to hear that shit. I'm just trying to, to help you guys out to not look like beginners and not have someone assume something about you that may not be true. So, you know, like I said, I said to one of my uh, viewers, I said, you know, take, take my advice with a grain of salt. I don't know everything there is to know. I don't claim to be an expert. If you feel that my advice is insufficient, please go get a second opinion. I am never going to claim that I'm a professional or that I am a know-it-all or anything like that. But if you feel like my advice is insufficient, please seek a second opinion. Anything that I put in my video is from my experience or from my research or me getting hands-on with a product or me you know talking with people dealing with people so you know take it for what it is take it for what it's worth anyway you know I hope you guys take this take this video and and apply it and I hope it helps you guys out so thanks for watching have a nice night